Now we're very excited because to mark the release of the Matilda the musical hitting the UK cinemas today, our very own Juliette Sia is making that famous chocolate cake in the film. There it is. Oh, I can't wait. Now we thought we'd get her to show us how to do it. Yeah, good enough right? for Bruce Brog Totter. It's good enough for us. Firstly, you kept this quiet. Congratulations. No, thank She's... you. How did it come about? Um, well, yeah, I think we did it about a year and a half ago, and I do a lot of like behind the scenes work, so it came through my food styling agent. Right. It's a six week job, and it was absolutely fantastic. When I found out about it, I was so excited because I absolutely love Ooh, Roald Dahl, Matilda, Tim Minchin. Yeah. Love it. And obviously, iconic Bruce Bogtrotter cake. Were you quite nervous making it? No, no, not at all. No, it's really, um, it was kind of like a creative process, so I did like eight prototypes of different sponge, different frosting, sent it in. We did rehearsals. So the whole job we had six weeks and the film, the actual scene took over two and a half weeks to And obviously, do. when yeah. it takes a bite out of the cake, you have to do different cakes at we, different stages, don't you? Exactly, yes. Yeah. So we had to make it in like seven stages of demolishment. And then, um, wow. yeah, and then, um, like, as it kind of, like, gets tucked into you, back on there, like, rebuilding it, rebuilding it, yeah, so... That's so yeah, So this is six weeks of making cakes? Pretty much, Are yeah. Are you over this cake now? No, I love it. That's my... I, I love it. It's, for me, it's, like, heaven, this job. Like, and I'm really proud of it as well. And it was What's just... the biggest version of this you had to make? Well, the actual... The, the cake itself was huge. The base was 20 inches, <sighs> and then the top tier was, um, like, an inch smaller than that. Yeah, so... And obviously, there's a lot of cake. Did the crew, like, demolish it at the end of Yeah, loads of, every of people, day? Were, they yeah, like people were eating they like it. sort of like rabid animals. <laughs> yeah. Sort of <laughs> people were, yeah, everyone was, like, eating it and stuff, so... Um, yeah, and everyone loved it. And it was, <sighs> yeah, the whole place just smelled... You could smell, smell the... I can so smell, so smell my delicious. cake. The size yeah. of yeah. I'll show Slices you how to make not... it, shall I? Yes, please. Yes, please. So, really, really easy, actually. So, you've got a wet and a dry mix. So I've got some golden caster sugar and some... Some oil here, so some sun sunflower oil. And this is why it's nice and soft, because, you know, when you make a cake with butter... Yeah. Um, ..as it kind of cools down, um, the butter sets um, firmer at room temperature, so it keeps nice and soft and squidgy. Um, so I wanted it to be really sort of, like, squidgy and crumbly in the middle. And then we've got eggs going in there. Yeah, I want it to be squidgy and sort of, like, crumbly in the middle, but really sort of, like, luscious and fudgy on the outside. Have you tried it? Oh, my, oh my goodness. goodness. That is so good. Juliet is I've been thinking about this all day long. Yeah, me too. Have you? It's, I, 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 I'm so proud of it. And do you know what you can do? It's really lovely. Like you can, it, it's really stable, so you can just put it in the microwave for, like, ten seconds at night time and have it some vanilla ice cream. It goes, oh. like, warm pudding That's in it. That's a good idea. Oh, it's really nice. That's a really yeah. good idea. Nice and warm. Do you like a glass of cherry? No. We're up. No. Don't do you, you want mine? Really? I love yeah. a glass of cherry. So, I'm in there, I've got my vanilla going in now. I've got some cocoa powder, which I've mixed with some boiling water, and that goes in. So, that's kind of like all your wet mix. And was that vanilla essence that you just put in Vanilla there? essence, Lovely. yeah. So, and then just mix that again. <coughs> oh, not... <laughs> oh, imagine if I... Oh, I have done that before, actually. Um, You're so used to it. You could do this with your eyes closed yeah. now, couldn't you? Really? Probably, actually. That's a challenge, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then, once you've got your wet mix all done, just got your flour, baking powder, and a pinch of salt, whisk it through, and literally, that's just going to go in to the wet mix. It's all chocolatey already. Look really chocolatey. Yeah, there's no actual um, melted chocolate in It's just the cocoa in this bit. Um, so, the, um, in the frosting, that's uh, made with dark chocolate and cream, like you were saying earlier, like a ganache base. And then the you mix smell it. of it is so strong. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely smell. Isn't I it? love that. So that's literally it. So once you've got that mixed together, you just want to divide that in between your two tins and yeah. bake it until um, it just it's cooked 20, 20 minutes. I mean, this is a really quite a, just a regular size cake. Obviously, it's not a huge one. Where should I put that? I'm gonna put it, I'll leave yeah. that there actually. I'll put it on. Probably can. I reckon I just need this space. Julia, um, can I ask <laughs> a question about? Yes. So when you make a big cake. Like, you know, obviously, it's the same discipline, but just with more ingredients, just with, like, 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 more quantity of ingredients. Yeah. But can more go wrong? Like, is it harder to make a big cake? Um, not, not necessarily. No, I think it can just be... Sometimes the main problem you've got is, like, thinking about the structure. Sometimes, like, if you've got a huge cake, then you've got to think about supporting it underneath, cos what you'll just... Got gravity, you know, something might, you know, crush down on the boat base tiers, but... You just need a bigger space to do it, really. So when you, you support equipment. it, then, you, so what do you support it with? You like, can support it with, that, like, that, cake that... dowels inside the cake. But this one, we didn't need to do that for this one because we wanted to be able to sort of slice right through, you know, as you can see in the film. Have you seen the film yet? 
No, it not yet. No. no. Is it amazing? Well, this, it is so amazing. But the theatre show is just incredible. Have you Matthew seen Walker's, it? Yeah. Should we have yes. a look at a clip while we're here? Yes, we yeah, well. yeah. We've got an exclusive oh, clip. Oh, she's broken the spoon already. But don't worry. It's out in the those. UK cinemas today, but here's an exclusive clip. Let's take a look. Eat. Emma Thompson. Emma Thompson's oh, she's so brilliant. She used to come into our cake tent every day, like fully made up as the trunch ball, and she was huge. And, and when I first saw her, I was actually quite scared because she, you know, the makeup was incredible. Um, but when I hear that music, I, it reminds me of being there on set, like doing this again and again and again, um, hearing all the music, and it actually makes me feel quite emotional because it was really, Aww. it was really fun to see it. Huge when I got to bit see of your it. life, right? I yeah. Mean, incredible. Congratulations, Amazing. by the way. Thank well you. done. You. So, right. what, what, what was it like on set? Because obviously. Like, it's so great that you were able to be there. By the way, that's so cool that you're doing that. <laughs> it's so great that you're able to, to be there on set, right? Because presumably, the, you couldn't have just sent the cakes in. You had to be no, there. No, exactly. You're right. Yeah. So, what we did, we had to kind of like make like probably about 100 layers like before we went off to set. Um, and then we were literally like on a kind of like makeshift kitchen. Just on set, like You're right by the... on set, though you could see yeah. the dancing oh, yeah. happening in front of oh, the fans. Oh, exactly. It was it was really like a, it was a dream to see the set. When you see the film, was it so um, cool and stylish the way it's done? So sometimes we did sneak off and go and have a look at all the other bits, which is quite fun. Do you think, but, it's, um, do you think it's the proudest moment of your career, Julia? Because you know you've done so much. You, you know, um, I probably would say yes, actually, because yeah. in terms of like how to me, how much I love Roald Dahl and yeah. Tim Minch and stuff. Um, yeah, I probably would say yeah. I've done so many jobs, but this is definitely one of my favourites. So obviously, except for this, of course. So, as you can see, I've just this is the beauty of it. It's meant to be a school dinner cake, so easy. I just slap that on. All you need to do to get. Oh yeah, yeah, you just slap that on. That was just. A but slapping. literally, you just kind of go. It's a professional. Once you've got it on. Take me all day. So you see, I'm using one of these spinny turntables. If you don't have one of these at home, the top tip you can get your mic. If you have a microwave turntable, that's a good idea. Take it out of there. And then just you can use that oh, to spin it round. Just briefly, what's in the in the in the icing? The so the icing is um, double cream and chocolate, and then you add in some icing sugar and butter, um, and that will keep it really lovely and shiny and glossy. Um, it's got a nice. It's you know how ganache sets hard. Yeah. This is how you do the top look. Spin it round. Um, but the nice thing about it is once you've made it, even if it sets hard, you can just literally warm it up again. It will come back to life again and again and again. Because I had to develop the icing so we could keep like reheating it. Yeah. And it's, yeah, like I said, it stays really lovely. So good. Where's my cherries? That's it. And then, of course, you've got the, um, the cherries finished. Oh, cherry on top. Are you going to make it home? Chili, Definitely yes. going to make yeah. this. Well, I'm just going to eat I'm yours at home. Take another piece. <laughs> yeah, enough that. Take another piece home. Juliet, that's Thank amazing. You, Congratulations Thank on the movie. You. We're so Brilliant excited. Stuff. Thank you. Uh, for details of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app. Yeah.